this week on The Electrics. Babe, what do we what do we miss most about Texas? Heb. Heb. H E B. We just made it off the flight. We're in Waco, and the first thing that we do is we go to we go to H E B. The first thing that I do when I travel, apart from going to the grocery store, is I make sure that I have a giant bowl that I can eat my food out of. I need a bowl too. I got two of them. Oh, perfect. So, what are you most excited for? The magic pops. The magic pops. So we love magic pops and you can only find them at HEV. And we haven't had them in a long time. So we're very much looking forward to them. Yeah. Who had to get a blender? Who had to get a blender? I did. <laughs> so she can make her protein sm smoothies. Yes. Unfortunately, we did not find the magic pops. Maybe another H E B. So this is the hotel we're staying at. It's called the Aloft, and it kind of reminds me of a college dorm, but it's a nice place. Right now, I'm gonna go down and see what the fitness center is looking like, because your boy's got an Ironman to do, and gotta make sure I'm prepared. We're good. So, Christy is doing some work. No, it's technically 9 p.m. It is technically 9 p.m. still working. Yeah, Excellent. so this is our hotel room. This is arguably the most important part of the hotel room right here, which is the bathroom. That's looking good. Specifically the toilet in the bathroom, looking great. And we have a, we have a mini fridge right here. So this is our bedroom. So my bike, this, was probably the biggest thing that I've ever traveled with. This bike bag, it was it caused me a lot of anxiety to travel with this, but we got it here and we have our groceries. I got some PB Fits. I got some carne asada, which I'm actually really looking forward to eating. Gotta get that iron in. And then I got some, some chicken, all that other stuff, uh, rice cakes. I even got some honey, peanut butter. There are mandatory things for me when I am when I travel food-wise, and I have a lot of them. Uh, Christy actually has a lot of them too, but the number one thing that Christy has to travel with wherever we go is sugar-free ketchup. Yes. She cannot live without sugar-free ketchup, so we got some sugar-free ketchup. Speaking of mandatory things I get when I travel, cereal, delicious cereal. I am extremely tired right now and I need to unpack a little bit more and I'm going to probably eat some food and chill. 12 seconds later. All right, so I call this poop in a bowl, otherwise known as my salad. I always eat it out of a bowl like this when, actually I kind of do this at home too. And uh, you know, we're just uh, chilling, watching some Shane Dawson, exciting life. Christy is getting ideas for Christy versus Kitchen. Yes, I think it's better. I love this. I love this scratch. So cute. So before I go train, I'm going to unpack my bike and see if it actually did make it here in one piece. All right. So Christy's got her workout this gear is on. My side. That is Eric's side. <laughs> the bike is built. Knowing my luck, something is something is wrong with it. But oh well, I'll figure that out later. Now we're gonna go get a little workout in. All right, so now that the workout's done, I'm actually about to head over to the pre-race area. There's like an athlete's check-in and 
the thing I'm going to be looking at the most though right now is the actual river that I have to swim in. If you guys have been following me on my, uh, my social media and have seen like my training over the past year, it's been, swimming has been my biggest weakness and it is my biggest weakness. So I'm going to, uh, the Ironman starts with a swim. It's a two and a half mile swim and then it goes into a 112 mile bike ride and then a 26.2 mile run, which is a full marathon. So the swim is the first thing that I have to do. Um, I'm really hoping that the river is relatively calm, but if it isn't, I really just have to suck it up and deal with it. So now let's go check out the expo. Are you ready for a BJ? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Thank you so, so much. much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And that's what Christy's eating. All right, so now we're getting some donuts for after the race tomorrow. It's gonna be from Nightlight Donuts and Coffee. I'll get the original glaze, the chocolate iced, cinnamon sugar, beignet, glaze with sprinkles, chocolate with sprinkles, the naked and the seasonal, so all eight. Thank you. Awesome, thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all good. All right, you guys, so this is the night before the race. This is my uh, dinner right here. I got some salad with some chicken on it, and then I'm doing some rice. This is just one of these ready rice packs right here. Um, there's about like 90 grams of carbs in there. So I'll do that with some of this uh, teriyaki sauce. And then I uh, usually have some of these, I have like a box of these rice crackers right here. Then we got some Lucky Charms. I'll probably have some of those. And the whole goal for me tomorrow is just to be able to get through the day with as little cramping as possible. And I find that most of the time when I have cramps, in my abdomen or anywhere like in my stomach or anything like that, it's because I have digestive issues. So rice definitely is something that is, I would say most easily digestible for me. So that's why most of my carb sources before I do long events like this are based around rice. And I'm gonna eat this and tomorrow we wake up very early and then the day will begin. five in the morning we are in the parking lot ready to get my stuff unloaded and get this iron man started uh the real like barrier today for me is going to be the heat it's supposed to be in the high 80s uh with humidity, with humidity so um just going to survive the swim hopefully and give it my best shot just got the official notification that Eric has started the Ironman. It is a beautiful morning in Waco. It's a beautiful day to not be in the water. I am hopefully going to be able to catch him at his transitions. I, he seemed calm, he seemed cool, so I'm excited for him. Really proud of him. I'm, ner I'm probably more nervous for him than he is, 
but he's gonna he's gonna do great. It's already been a great smooth start to the day, so <sighs> we're here, and I've got a really good feeling by the end of this, he's gonna come out an Iron Man. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Little fishies in the water, so they're gonna swim up there, and they're gonna turn around, and then they're gonna go all the way, all the way to there. And it's gonna be that bridge right there. I'm pretty sure that one of those are Eric. Good job, Eric! All right, babe. Go take some souls. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my knees hurt. Um, I will explain everything later. I did have some unexpected issues happen during the race, which really set me back. For a full race recap, be sure to head over to my third channel, Electric Talks. I need to get some food in me as soon as possible. All right, so this is my first bite of actual food. It tastes really good. All right, so we got the pepperoni extreme pizza right here. This is a deep dish pizza. It's good, it's gonna get a fire. <laughs> All righty, everybody. So, of course, I had to get some donuts. And it is currently 11 a.m., 11, 11 p.m. at night. I honestly, folks, am very, very tired right now, but I thought I would have some, some delicious donuts to cap off the night. And this will most likely not be the final thing you all see in this video, but I figured I would have some donuts anyways. The cool thing about these donuts is that they are, they are uh, all croissant donuts. Aw. That was nice. We also have cookies too. Can I have one? Our neighbors sent us some cookies, or sent me some cookies for the Iron Man too. So I'm really, really pumped about that. It's a snickerdoodle one. Can I buy, buy one? Yeah. There you go. I like snickerdoodles. Oh, wow, these are good. You guys have to get yourselves some neighbors that send you cookies. And they got oatmeal raisin in here too. My favorite, these are really, really good. Okay, so. The unique thing about these donuts, they are, so they're like technically supposed to be cronuts, but I don't think you can call them cronuts because they don't really look like cronuts. Let's see what this one's gonna taste like. It tastes like a cronut. It's actually pretty good. First one's worth it. This one is the this looks like just like a regular cinnamon sugar donut. That one's not worth it. Okay, so they're all basically like the same cro croissant. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have to say I've had better croissant donuts in my life, but uh, let's see if the chocolate one's gonna be good because I really love, I love sprinkled chocolate donuts. Comment down below if you guys like sprinkled chocolate donuts too. Oh yeah, okay. Never mind. That's definitely good. That's what the inside looks like right there. They've all been worth it so far, except this one right here. I'm actually pretty excited about this one, even though I think it's gonna be pretty plain on the inside. But let's let's see. <laughs> all right. I, I inhaled the powdered sugar. It's <coughs> <coughs> a bad move on my part. That one's a little much. Glazed. 
Oh my, okay, so their glaze is the best. 100,000% worth it. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret right now. But this donut, this donut, this donut, and this donut are from H-E-B. They have no affiliation with this night life donut place. We just put them in here for purposes related to the thumbnail and making this box look really colorful. But yeah, anyways, the last one right here, this is the cinnamon sugar donut or croissant donut, whatever it's supposed to be called. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna say that this one is the best. Anyways, everyone, I am not coherent enough to talk about my day to day. I'm incredibly tired. Christy is too. So we're gonna go to sleep and we'll see you guys at some other point in this video. The boss at her workstation. Will you put your shoes in the bag? What, what shoes? He's already making requests. So today we're going to be going to the Day to Remember concert. I saw Day to Remember play back in 2012. But yeah, so we're gonna do that tonight. Um, yeah, we might get some deliciousness before the show. And yeah, enjoy some, enjoy some, some good eats in Texas. Everyone here at Oaks is super cool. We just got uh, hooked up with some of their wings. Their owner's super nice. They hooked us up with some of their wings and, and a beer. We're definitely gonna have to come back for sure. For sure. Alright everybody, so it is currently midnight or somewhere around midnight. I feel like it's weird because um, I have this weird thing about myself where I feel like I always need to tell you all what time it is. I've been doing that since like 2015, ever since I started making YouTube videos. And I don't know why, but I always feel like I need to tell you guys what time it is. I am slightly intoxicated right now, but that's okay. Christy's not, she's actually in the shower, she's naked. Babe, are you naked? Babe. What? Are you naked? I can't hear you. Are you naked? Yeah, I'm naked. Christy's naked. <laughs> um, but uh, it's cool though, because guess what? Guess what? I had a subscriber of mine, her name is Jamie. Jamie came to my Iron Man and she brought me a delicious cinnamon roll, all right? This is a delicious cinnamon roll. And Jamie, if you're watching this, I just wanna tell you how much I appreciate you. I am a little disappointed in myself for my performance in the Iron Man, but you know what? If you guys wanna know more about that, you can check out my third channel where I talk more about my shenanigans. This is really just where we keep the food stuff. Jamie also brought a, another thing as well. Um, this is a, that looks like something that's got Oh, it's got cherry filling inside of it. Uh, Jamie and her son came out and they watched me actually do the Iron Man and that, like I finished the run 
uh, or I finished the bike transition and went into my run and they actually brought me Skittles. And it meant so much to me, just like somebody, just to see someone drive out to watch me do something that fulfills me, you know? So, uh, Jamie, if you're watching, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you coming out. Tomorrow we go back to San Diego and we get back to the, the usual flow of things with the electrics. And I just wanna say if you guys have made it up into this point of the video, if you guys like these videos, if you guys like seeing us go out and do different things like this and want to see more uh, things like this, go ahead and comment down below, maple. Because these are maple, thin crispy cookies. They're made with real maple syrup though. Comment maple down below. Holy These are really good. By the way, we found these at Target. Yo, cookie thins are actually better than regular cookies. I don't think you guys actually understand the crunch. Let's, hold on, one more. Mmm. The concert was the best concert I've ever been to. You guys gotta go check out Data Remember. As far as our goodies for tonight, I'm waiting for Christy to get out of the shower so I can have her try the cinnamon roll with me. All right, so that's a cherry danish. That's gonna be yours. Okay. Hmm. That's the inside look right there. Mm. The cherry. Definitely hit you hard. It's good. Yeah, yeah Phenomenal. not bad. Do you want to go move to the main event now? The cinnamon roll? So excited about this. I love cinnamon Look rolls. how big the cinnamon roll is. That is a big cinnamon roll. For comparison, Eric's head. <laughs> okay, how are we even gonna do this? I don't know, do you want to split should. it open? And... Yeah, I think we should. Ooh. Right, the best part of a cinnamon roll is right in the center. So, here we go. Oh, a lot of cinnamon. I see inside look right there. Yum. Dude, that is really, really good. Oh, man. I know you love cinnamon, so I know you love that. That is cinnamon central. Oh, that's good. What um, are these little guys? These are uh, these are fire. That legit tastes like fruit. It's maple. so good though. It, like it, it just like just like wave the crunch. I like it. All yours, babe. All yours. Well, I think overall, I can say that this trip was successful. Iron Man check. Concert check. Um, we we it's saw good. Christy's sister and we yeah. saw my sister too. That was good. It was fun. Neither of which want to be on camera, which I completely understand. Uh, regardless, everybody, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to let us know down below in the comment section. Let us know which one you think is more cute, me or Christy. And um, I already know you're all going to see me. Uh, give the video a like. He's and I know, I'm, I'm not cute. I'm very, very, very sick. Okay. All right, and we're up.